What's up, everybody? It is Marshall here, and I have another Wine Express tasting, and I have the Rasco. So this is from Hugh Hamilton Wines, and if you may remember, we had the cab, which was the villain, and uh, this is the Shiraz McLaren Vale screw cap. Those who know know, love the screw cap on these, you know, Shiraz, Australian, New Zealand wines. They use them all the time. Nothing wrong with it. Don't be afraid of the screw cap. So this is Hugh Hamilton wine is one of the oldest, 180 years of winemaking. It's, you know, sixth generation family winemaker now. And it's amazing that they're the oldest because we'd never heard of them. We found uh, the villain, which was their cab. And then this, this rascal and the wines that they make are just so, you know, big and luxurious and uh, mm, just intense out of the glass. So, I mean, we're looking at the color here. It's 2018, so we got like six years of bottle age. You get a little of that garnet, but that is ink, right? <laughs> it's just a glass staining, uh, deep, deep ruby color on that. Letting you know that this is going to be a pretty serious and powerful wine. So lots of typical uh, Shiraz notes on here. Lots of uh, red fruits. I'm getting, you know, red cherry. I'm getting black cherry too, though, I gotta say. But a lot of the um, bottle age is starting to come through in a beautiful way. Leather, tar. The vanilla is there, but it's like subtle, right? It's not like that big, huge, powerful uh, oaky note to it. Some underbrush is there, some of that forest floor. There's a meaty note to it. And it's not super aggressive on the fruit. Some of these Shiraz wines can just be really like, I don't know, in your face on, on uh, like those, those sweet berry notes. This doesn't have this. This has like some sophistication, you know, on top of that. Oh, just got that black plum too. A little hint of that, uh, that black currant, almost cab-like, mm. evolving in the glass. I probably should decant it, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> it is a big, opulent, plush. That's the word, plush. This is just soft and mouth filling and that plum just rips through every part of your palate. The, the current notes, the black current, that, that leather and tar, that cigar box that starts to come around. A little bit of that licorice and those anise notes, the spice starts to come out on the palate. This is a really big, complex, like I said, sophisticated Shiraz. This is not just all fruit and alcohol. Alcohol's there, but it's in check. And to me, food is going to just enhance the experience on this so much because the acidity is there. It is well balanced. The tannins are plush, like I said, soft. And so this is screaming for anything off the grill, right? We're, we're still here. Summer is still here, right? We're still grabbing those ribs, taking those burgers off the grill. And at this price point, right, for a wine of this quality, it's something that you can grab now, drink now, throw some down, save some for the winter, because this could also be a lovely kind of like fireside warming wine for the winter. So again, oldest winemaking family in Australia. We'd never heard of it. They don't make a ton of wine, so it's not much to grab, but make sure to do so while you can. Cheers. Enjoy.